Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. People, oh God, big up on yourself, you know. What not deal with? Fresh God in the building. Sherman in the building. All of the people, them, big up on yourself. Thanks for tuning in to another video here on the desk. You get what I say? Yeah, man, this is the place to be. So, we have a few things we want to talk about, people. Of course, you know it's a weekend trip or treat. I want to say triple treat. Yeah, man, we are going to treat it, treat. You get what I say? So, let's see what we'll be talking about. Uh, the phone line will be open, people. You can call in and let your voice be heard on the matter as well. Um, yeah. So, pretty much these are some of the things that we'll be discussing. The Leon Bailey, the Reese Nelson, the Whisper, and the under 20 situation reggae boys under 20 because it look like that's something that a problem something you know yeah man it look like that's something that a problem so problem so you get what i say look like that's something that a problem so So I go on people, like up the stream no man, quick and fast, share the content. Man of God, what I go on, big up yourself. Yeah man, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are on. Share the stream people, so people can know that we are on. You get what I say? Share the stream. Don't be selfish people, share the stream. Share the stream, share the stream. Man of God, where I deal with? I hope everything moves you, you know. Respect for the support, you know. Fresh God, you don't know it, girl, you know. Big up, in you know, Kiapo. Yeah, hold well on. The thing, everywhere you're there, Fresh God. Big up yourself, man. You know, we have to appreciate what you do. Nitro, I go on. Nitro, you know, the building, you know. From we see a note, hey YouTube, send out my notification YouTube and stop it playing. This thing all where YouTube are going with doing them man. When you set the stream them, the stream them are give you some 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 different time from when you are set the stream them. YouTube, when you stop playing with this something on YouTube, I want to YouTube man. I don't understand what YouTube are going with man. Yo. Joke thing under the pan on YouTube. Stop playing the people them thing, man. We well, say you're on the work, man. But all right, you know we happy say we can allow some discussion can go on in a situation like this where people like man God with their work, people are drive, and all of them thing they can you know still be a part of the whole discussion. You get what I say to okay? Big up yourself, you know. Seeing, yeah, man. Happy said this this thing can go on. You get my answer? Happy said it can go on. And we will continue with the movement. Yeah, man. A whole part time, we say we are going to put the mic in at the stand and take out the headset and hang it up. See? It? But here we are, sir. Some people always are look out for the show. You see me I say? So because people are look out for the show, after I give support. Mm -hmm. So the thing go. Yo, Okunsana, what go on, man? Melbourne, what go on?
Yeah, man. YouTube are going to some madness, man. Honestly, YouTube are going to some madness. YouTube are going to some madness. Anytime you set it something, them, them are going to one different timing where you no set. Eh? How are them going with? Yo, big up Shelly and Fraser Price. I don't know this is a football stream still, no, but we have to big up, big up the goddess. We have to big up the legend. Yeah, man. Big up to Shelly. You get what I say? I don't know soon see what's going on. Anyways, Peter Mystic, what's going on? Big up yourself. I see that you stick to what you already know. In terms of our arm, um, Peter. <laughs> Peter, what do you mean by stick to what I know? Enlighten, enlighten my, my, my understanding there, um, Peter. I don't understand what you say. Um, big deal. What go on, Len? Big up yourself, you know. T.Y., big up. Hot chili in the building. The JFF. What do you mean, me stick to them? <laughs> me not stick to the JFF. I stick to the JFF, you know, man. But a football, we, we there for talk, do and them are the governing body for football in Jamaica, don't mm? So we are going to talk about So, why topic for you then, um, Peter? <laughs> Give me a topic there, Peter. Because I me, me sure know some people are come on tonight and I go say, why we can't leave um, Leon Bailey, why, why we so bad mind and rate it. People are come on and consider that, you know. And Leon Bailey is a Jamaican national. Plays football for Jamaica. He must tar up Aston Villa right now. He must go on a bag of things at Aston Villa. Leon Bailey basically can't put a, a, a foot wrong right now for Aston Villa. And that in itself is a good look from a Jamaican standpoint. That is a good look. In terms, in terms of uh, what you call it, uh, for, for him on a personal thing, Devon, big up, Jason, big up, all of the good mind them. <laughs> all right, Peter. <laughs> yeah, man, you see me, I say? So, it is a good look. Leon Bailey not stop. Go on the bag of things. Him goal contribution. Tremendous. You understand? And that is something to talk about. Leon Bailey. Congratulations. Leon Bailey. Go on do your thing Leon Bailey. See? But. Just remember say. We are going to talk about you. Whether it is. From. What you did. From what you not do. From your exploits positively and your conversation we gone from Wapi Kill Filo. Seeing that I go continue to talk about. Now, somebody came on this channel when we were talking about his son, Richie Royal. Big up yourself, anyway, the Richie Royal. And Richie Royal said, Seeing, I'm a respect Richie Royal because Richie Royal said, no publicity is bad publicity. When whisper did in the media and them attack about whisper. See? So Leon Bailey don't feel no way when we attack about you. See? So congrats to you and all the way you do for Aston Villa. See? And you know the people them are going to compare Aston Villa to Jamaica and say, boy, you never do that for Aston Villa. And you see somebody, you never do that for Jamaica. You, but you see some of the reasons them where you did give Leon, I never told like them reasons they still, you know. Better you did say, you get more time to spend with Aston Villa alone. And no mention the pitch and all of them. So. And the chemistry would be a good argument too. So we can't take that away. Seeing? Chemistry would be a good argument. You get what I say? 
seeing but sufficing to say you basically remove yourself from the national team we don't know where and, and when you go forward back but one thing we know is that you're not playing national football right now because you take away yourself whether it is because of the what you call it the suspension or it is because of the things that you highlighted the issues that you're having with the jamaica football federation which these issues are real issues seen all right so the position is left a little bit void we have cfos where i believe has to me a lot to offer this team see Cephas has a lot to offer this team. Seeing Cephas have a lot to offer this team, people, and and me glad. So him get him chance and him improve it. You get what I say? So now the situation is in our people. What me understand now what me gather is that is that the Recruiting for Reese Nelson has been turned up a notch. Seeing? Because Leon Bailey's situation uncertain right now. And we know we have Copa coming up and all of these things. So, all who have an opportunity or not a really opportunity as the know-how has the contacts and all of them thing there. Basically, step it up a little notch where it comes on to a recruitment of. Recruitment of Reese Nelson. Because the fact of the matter is, you know, I don't think Reese Nelson will be playing for England. You know why? Position the kind of really competitive. Want it, want it enough a better term. Seeing? Them step it up. And like I said, Bailey's situation is uncertain. Because Bailey has not given a timeline and we don't know what the coach mindset is in terms of communicating with Leon Bailey. See? For me, I believe the coach are gonna link him and try to get him back. This is how me believe. You get what I say? So that is the situation right now. They want to step up the recruiting for Reese Nelson. Because Reese Nelson is a quality player. Reese Nelson is playing for Arsenal. So him in the Premier League. Um, it's been a while since he has gotten, you know, a, a, a full game and all of that. But him still there amongst the big boys. You get what I say? Still amongst the big boys. And that is what is happening right now. You, you, you understand people? Yeah man. So that is that. And like I said, Leon Bailey the situation uncertain. So you can understand the coach's point of view if if 
him now sit and wait for him daily. And if them turn up the volume where Reese Nelson is concerned, is it that he's going to replace Leon Bailey? Is it that he's going to replace Leon Bailey? Or Leon Bailey can walk back in our team anytime? Hmm? We think Leon Bailey can walk back in our team anytime? I want to say about that. I want to say about that. I want to think Bailey can walk back in our team anytime. So him spot safe. Him people. Talk to me no man. Talk to me in the comment section no man. On this on so quiet. Hmm? On a finger busy. <laughs> it's a finger busy. I wanna play a game. Where's a Jeros? In can't walk back in the team. Um Nitro say yeah, in can't walk back in the team based on him current farm. Mm-hmm. Alright, let me get some more comments and see what I go on with people they must say. Big deal photography, what? Len, 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 where you turn? Photographer Len? Or you have a business around? People, you see what I go on? Man, upgrade, you know, see him like how the studio upgrade. I saw big deal upgrade him name, you know. So we can't send a big deal Len again. Uh, lick. So we can't say little deal photograph graphy. <laughs> <In Len? laughs> we can't say little league photography. <laughs> Talk to me, know where I go on so we can't send the people over there. You have a photo studio where you are, you are a promoter, you become a photographer. Talk to it. And if that if it if it's a business just calling and maybe a few seconds or minutes free ear time to promote the thing. Cause me don't know what it's about, so me I get that privilege. Just call in so you can do the promotion. Until he does it in a Jamaica shirt, it doesn't mean much to me. But you mean it don't mean much uh, well that I said to you still. But it mean much man. So that means I might come with consistent form, you know. And that would be a good look. Bailey have to translate that to the side. Alright, McNeil. Man talk about pitch and not playing with the right players. <laughs> up coach's desk. Big up in a Jairus. Oh, go on. Jairus, big up yourself. Hey, you have J you have Jairus and you have Jairus. Yeah, the two men then comment one behind the other. We need the quality in that position. So good move by the recruiters. Yeah, man. Bailey will be back. I I believe so to um Rob Smith. One Reese Nelson. <laughs> Alright, Turkeman Production. Big up. Big up coach. No man is an island. This is not a one man show. He's in for a rude away. 50 50. What are going? Big up enough. Hey, coach. Hello? Yeah, where are you? Do you hear me? Check, check, check. Yeah, coach. Yeah, man. Um, there, there. Oh, I know why there's something I'm moving, up, coach, but can I fix that after? Somebody know. What I'm moving? The video, the video. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. The background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. I figure, I figure it though. So, um, Leon Billy, now, right? Mm. You don't feel Leon Billy really go around coach in, in terms of when we look back on the interview and so. Mm -hmm. You see, he's, he's one of our most talented players, you know, right? And and a lot of us know that, right? A lot of us know that. And we've seen it across Europe in terms of 
Genk, Leverkusen and Aston Villa. However, it's just not transitioning with the national team. But where Leon Bill go wrong and kind of shoot himself in the face is when him kind of... I don't know if he was putting out excuses, but to me, I interpret it as interpret it as excuses in terms of when he said the pitch and then the, the players when he play with and he's not the same as Aston Villa. But then the Demar are great them of the world. Them show say them can do it, you know, coach. I get me, I say. And enough people say, them are great, them never not accustomed to them type of picture where, where, where um, them play upon them at Jamaica. So. But whenever Leon Bill if get the good pitch, them, him still never really do nothing. Mm. So it's like, even them throw out some excuse, but I look on it and say, yo, yo we're not bad at still no be we're not bad at still no, isn't it? All the whole camp thing where, yes, it's not the club where, you know, they're around these players week in, week out. But then we see the Demar agree them still forward coach and perform, you know. And then, them man go say, oh, um, them type of picture, whatever, I feel like them are agree them will just kick down the ball and run it down and because them strong and so and him, him, him need the, the nice touches them and mm. it just can't be, you know. However, I I still think, you know, we have the Copa America coming up. All them say, my am going to have party still, but, you know, Copa America, Nations League back in September, potentially the World Cup in 2026. And, you know, before that, we're going to have windows in which we're going to play games. I believe um, he's going to be back into the team. You know, I, I don't think he's finished with the national team. And as somebody said, like, who, who is not us? Who, who, we aren't the ones, obviously, we're going to decide when he come back into the team or whatever the case is. And um, although people have the accusation that he hasn't done it before um, with the national team, maybe when he come back in the next time, that's where we, we see Leon Billy doing it for the national team. You know, they maybe him actually need this break to... to to take a reflection upon himself mm-hmm. in terms of how to move forward, you know. So maybe this break can do him when I say a different Leon Bailey, but it is one of our best players. And I know that we talk about Reese Nelson a lot and whatever the case is. And, you know, we've seen Reese Nelson and his abilities, but I'm of the belief that Leon Bailey is a better player than Reese Nelson. So why not have him back into the national team, you know, whether I'm apologize or not, that's down to Coach Algrims or whoever is responsible in terms of that situation, you know, they made it. Mm. A lot we, of the we're not, we're not, we're not hearing nobody at all about no apologies, Selena. So I think mm-hmm. people run ahead at it at the, at the thing because of, of the regular girl situation. But when me, when me, when me say um fifty fifty, what, what I believe is that if I were Leon Bailey, this is how I would answer the question because him answered, him answered right, still enough. Him have them issues there, and because of the type of ball I'm be, but you know how me would answer it. Because him, him say him not play for Jamaica. I admit that. He not play well for Jamaica. I admit that. See? What he should have said if 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 I were him or me could have advised him for talk. I would say to him, see? Yeah. You know, say, yeah, man. Like him attack. He said 50 50. You know, I true do. I not play well for Jamaica. You know, but guess what? You know, so I think say pressure. But I get it right, man. Remember, so, like when I start out at Aston Villa and I did have some issues and I start get it right. Just give me some more game with Jamaica, man. I get it right. You see me, I say? Rather yeah. than go through the, 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 the hills and the curves and the turns of issues that he's facing, which. When you're in a situation and you express yourself still, you're not a wall box still, you know. But uh, um, being a professional that he said he is, he should have coined it in a, in a way where it not look like, say, him uh, against the type of players them will pick and all of them someday. If him say, yo, remember, say, we don't play ball every day, you know. My club team different. We only meet up X, Y, Z. Nothing wrong with that either. But say, yo, you know, say, I true though. I now nah play good for Jamaica, you know. But guess what? I get it right, man. You see, because the Aston Villa thing, a week in, week out, I play with them. I have a chemistry with them, see? But give me the, give me some time with Jamaica. But coach, even even with the players that him say that, that aren't being picked, right? How, mm. many, how much, in terms of the, the, the group that we have, right? How many players out there are actually better than what we have at this moment in time? But that's a very good question. But do you think that he was talking specifically the players that are in the team now? Or it is from he was him just coming at the team and it had moved through the years and the months 
and it camps and each camp going up on and, and on from Whitmore go right back. You know, if you say, we could have talk from then too. But coach, that is the big accusation that people have against Leon Bill in that interview that whatever he was talking about him should have framed it in a way where there's no stones that were left and turned like so, everything. So like a, it ambiguous basically then? Yeah, it's more questions than answers, mm-hmm. you know. Because everything is left up to speculation. Because in and my I, mind, and, and, and I don't about, think it's speculation, you know. It's people's interpretation. <laughs> interpretation. So, and, and in and my I mind, I'm interpreting that. I, I'm interpreting that mm-hmm. it might mean whisper, and it might be Phoenix driven as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when he even got to the point of saying when when the interviewer asked him about uh, Mr. Butler, should he be involved in the JFF? And then when him go say yes, me I say. They're not the same Mr. Butler that about country country. So when I'm going to uh, Mr. Butler has expressed that if I'm going to Nigeria for a beer Phoenix flag or in a national team. Mm. So all of those stuff, it, it really, it, as I said, it's left up to interpretation in terms of how you want to in, in, interpret it. And then the next thing with, with, with Leon Billy and, and, and the national team is, as you say, him should I just say, you know, I'm not going to start perform whatever the case is. And mm. you know, to, you see, I'm not going to beat him by now because you see the whole pressure thing, coach. I mm-hmm. feel like in, in terms of Leon Bailey, it is actually real when you see him feel the pressure because, of you know, when Leon Bailey started for the national team, you know, well, looking back at it, in terms of the media hype that was driven around him coming, mm-hmm. coming at the national team, you know, it, it was... And the pushback with him Leon not Bailey, playing in the team, too. Yeah, and it seemed as if he was supposed to be our lord and savior. So, mm-hmm. Leon Bailey, the player he is, maybe when he even come to the national team and say, yo, you know, I so really want to perform the one. We really want to put on my best performances for the country, you know, but it, maybe the pressure was too much. It, 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 um, compared to the likes of a demo here who can just walk in and perform, a Mikel Antonio. And yes, these are star studded players, you know, in their respective um leagues and their respective teams that they've played for in the past. But the pressure wouldn't have been on a demo here and Mikel Antonio compared to a Leon Billy. I remember saying from birth, where I hope Leon Billy, you know, coach. Mm-hmm. You get me, I say. Mm-hmm. And then when, when the whole issue with the JFF, when he wasn't playing for the national team, I said, yo, want him to play for the national team, want him, and then he finally play for the national team. So the pressure in itself, it yeah. might be actually real. It might it's be, real, it, man. It, it looks like it can't affect him. It, you know? It's real for true. I agree with you 100%. Because, you see, one of the things when I think that the pressure to, he's a homegrown. And he was talked about as, as one of the artist talent. See? Everybody wants to see him in a team. I remember saying my tear down Leverkusen. I remember saying tear down Genk. So the, the, the hype was around not only because he's a he's a Phoenix person, you know, but because of what he was doing as well. Him did a do it, you know. So I don't like saying him come in empty handed. Him did a do it. And when him come in and uh, people him expectation reach to reach to ceiling height. See the people yeah, coach expect- must get disconnected. Yeah, the people them um expectation reach yeah, man, to ceiling get disconnected. Yeah man, me hear man. Me just that talk. I remember the people them I listen to, you know. The 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 the, the, the expectation reach ceiling height and, and, and because him come in and probably that not happen, the criticism start Beer down at him because the expectation of the people him have on it now come to, to hand makes it even more difficult for him to really um put a foot wrong when it comes to the national team because the people always expect him. Oh, we talk boy, you know, oh, we see our play for Genk, you know, yeah, go on the bag of things, you, you get contract guard, Leverkusen, you know, so you need to start play some for the national team. You see me, I say. So, um, and, and, and yeah, go ahead. And to tell you, you know, if you, if you draw a comparison to a lot of other players who, who are even better than Leon Bailey, who play for smaller nations across the board, you realize that whenever they also go to the national team, they, they tend to not perform because of that pressure situation. The, the Lemon Dusk is off the world, and a lot of those players they mm-hmm, face those accusations, mm-hmm. you know, they made it so for, for as good as they are at the club level. When them go play for Poland, etc. Even earning Holland and some of these players, you know, when the nations are, are almost smaller, the, the, the pressure is really immense on them to take that country to the next level no, in terms of college no, quality. But 50 50. May, may I agree with that too? But even big nations, it happened to, you know. Yeah. Because remember, look, look on a Leo Messi. People had him as well, a well. club ball, you know. Yeah, that was a good example. Messi would not be peaceful. If him never win a World Cup with Argentina, you know, 
because all Argentina fans believe that he's just a club baller and him not deliver in weak, in mentally weak, he not take the opportunities them and all of these things. So him do it now, so him stocks raise high or higher than it was in terms of what? The national team. You get what I say? So it, it, it is not only for the small nations, it also affects the big nations. Because of England, even for uh, Wayne Rooney, Wayne Rooney, the expectation they die too. And when Wayne Rooney not play good for England, he get a, he get a whip. Remember, I must start from <laughs> him about 17 to him, man. But, but what I will say, coach, moving forward, mm -hmm. well, the man say, I'm having 40 still. I you know, maybe Grimmie got up on the phone and say, oh, I'm still young, you know. And I'm feeling a coach. I feel if the JFF and all of them should talk to Leon Bailey and they match out the situation. I feel the same way for them playing at the Cup of America, to be honest with you. Me, me, me feel so, you see me? Because I'm not thinking party more important than Cup of America. Leon Bailey, you see, you see, as a footballer coach, you, mm. you, you live for the big moments. You get me, I say? You live for those big moments. And you want to perform at the, the, the big stage, you know? And that's why so, I did, that's why I did have a, 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 a show the last, I think the last time I talked about is does Leon Bailey want to play World Cup football? That's a one of a big moment to me. Of course, you know? good. of course. You see me man. I say? So if, if him decides say he uh, him 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 now play for the national team right now and him a focus on his club team, when will he return? Will it be in time for the World Cup qualifiers? Will it be in time to help the team to qualify? Will it be in time to play a Copa? It is uncertain. At this moment, you know, Aston Villa. Them, them beat um uh, which team them play Leeds at the Europa Conference League. Mm -hmm. You know that's a trophy that they can win. They they they're in the um the, the the run for qualifying for Champions League and you know game by game. I'm not saying he's slipping away from them, but you know they have couple hiccups up until recently. So I think his focus is really with Aston Villa, and then after the season finishes, I believe maybe we'll make a decision. But in terms of the World Cup itself. Remember, you know, from 1998, Jamaica, um, that was the last time I went to the World Cup. And I know for a fact that every young player that, that has ever played professional football that comes from Jamaica, whether they represent the national team or they wanted to represent the national team, I know many of them would have had it in mind that I want to help Jamaica to get to the next the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And I know that when Leon Bailey, I believe when Leon Bailey was growing up, that was one of his goals to not only play for a top club, but to help Jamaica to get to that next level. And we as fans, we want to see that. So I believe... Maybe if he doesn't come back for the, the, the qualifiers, I believe he will be back sooner rather than later. And I believe he'll be around for the 2026 World Cup. You know, I, I, if he qualify, you know, he's, he's just up the road in America. You know, he's like a backyard, you know, them way there. Mm -hmm. So he will be back into the national team. You know, I, I don't think he's, he's, he's done. He might have a lot more to give to the national team. It's just whether the club form can translate with the national team. And in general, we need our best players. You know, them way there. Mm -hmm. And yes, we know he's not perform for the national team, but we have to give him an next shot. You know them way, we have to give him an next shot. Yeah, and 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 we have to qualify perform. He not he not perform up to his standard, a Leon Bailey standard, and what he's doing at the club level. You get what I say? So, a good baller still, good baller. Okay. And I believe sir. Me not believe sir. Grimmer will left him out. They might go read some, some sort of understanding. That's how me believe. See? Yeah, definitely. But that's, that's what I'm not for saying, you know. But yeah. coach, you can ask that question, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. They are going to ask something. Yeah, me did I say, if you don't want to touch something upon the whisper on the under 20. Oh, um, yeah, no, sir. That's what I'm going to go to. Do. Yeah. That's what I'm going to ask you about, you know. You know, sir, they made a conversation them up until recently, and they must say, if you're supposed to be in the under 20 or the senior team, and, you know, for the talent that he is, I kind of feel like he must go in the under 20 and help the team, you know. I think he should be a part of the setup, and then the senior team now running from him, you know, they made it. And it's still a player that is developing. It's not like he's the finished article. It's not like a player where I would look at, like, you know, when you look at the soccer them a couple years ago, right? Mm -hmm. They were way above their level at that stage that they could have skipped. Well, they, they used to play at that level, you know. But some of them, they didn't spend a lot of time in there, but they, because they were at that talent, they get. Um, slot into the senior team right away. You know them where they like you see this person and say, you know, a sucker and the, the, the Kobe men who they're so special that them just move them up to the senior team. Whisper, we've seen him in the senior team. 
is still in um, the developmental stage. So I believe the under 20 for him would be good in terms of his confidence and just developing overall, you know, them way they, and, and representing their country. Because as I said, the senior team, it's not it's not running away from him. Mm-hmm. But for some people, them say, you know what, even if they're not the under 20, some of them say, must just be in a senior team. I see it both ways. He can be in the under 20, and the senior team will always be there for him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, man. All right. So, yeah, people. Well, I'm going to check out back and comment them. Nelson needs to be playing football, in my opinion. Should move from Arsenal to get more game time. Not worried about Bailey. He was his, in his feelings. He will be in the Copa squad. I don't think they should stop at Nelson. Blessings, coach, and the rest of the people. Big up yourself, Duclan. One of the standards in the building. Yeah, man. Um, Triple E, big up, you know. Sean Sutherland, big up. If me and them need to get <laughs> doing McNeil, he want the likes of Dwight McNeil. Yeah, we hit the ball there a long time. We might pray, you know. Or a long time, we are pray. But we don't know what going on there, so. Playing with the big boys is good, but he isn't playing even if a soccer or Martinelli is injured. Mm. We should be stepping up on the top talent, whether Leon or any other elite player available or not. Why are we talking about players that openly say they do they are not available for a selection? Duclan, you know, understand the 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 the, 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 the conversation, you know. Reese Nelson Nick recruiting step up because of Leon Bailey uncertainty. Or he's uncertain. Seeing? That's how we are talking about. So Leon Bailey name has to come up in the conversation. What do you do, Clan? I honestly don't think the coach will replace Leon Bailey. Me too. We need as much quality as we can. It is not either or. We need all of them to strengthen our team. All right. See, people are talking you now. He has a spot until he public. He has no spot until he publicly apologizes. All right. There are levels here. Last summer, AC Milan and Brighton didn't quint Nelson, but he turned them down. If Reese Nelson comes and play ball like Gray, bench for Bailey if he returns. <laughs> if Omari Hutchinson can walk in any time, why can't the Prem League winger? Um, EA FC 24. What that? People type in, you just read slow. Yeah, my master, I stop and I talk to 50 50 now. I don't read my reads though. All right, so if you just leave it, it, it will I think the way people say, and just go down to the last message. Make you do that, you know. Although someone I get down the feelings. Always been a photographer, bro. Eh? Who decides when Bailey come in the team? It would be a dangerous precedent for Bailey to walk in team when he feels like it. How oh, this look to the rest of the team? Good point at AM. I think playing for AC Milan is better than warming the bench for Arsenal. The co-owner is Jason. Mm. Which Jason? I told Jason having have you know, a Guna and Jason Blank. So which one? No players should act like they're safe given the number of players the Jamaica team can select from. If I was a betting man, I would have won an, on the first call from 50. <laughs> Hold on. So the man, them were a recruit, can say yes when they want, but Bailey can't move with the bias. It is just a sports photography. Okay. Look off. Lock off, off, and off, please. What? Man, change back your name to Big Deal then. Leon was in his feelings. Need to speak it to his teams, to his team and coaches and come back. 
Gold Cup and Nation League, he plays on great pitch. And a Demari, he might talk. He might talk the Antonio type of player. Big Up Bailey needs to stay on vacation fully. Party Boy can stay. Reese Nelson can't lace Leon Boots. June 21, Big Dance. Bless up Coach Desk and everyone in the chat. Big up Jason. Come on, Jason have the um, comment the type and him just copy and paste it. <laughs> Ali, Bailey needs to part, be a party every week. Um, I think Bailey and Nelson on the same level. Bailey would be a bench player for Arsenal. Big deal and a big comedian. Leon couldn't play at Arsenal, trust me on that. If Reese Nelson was at Aston Villa, he would be of getting game time. Mm, big up fresh god. The man them in a them feelings, the disrespect toward Leon is crazy. We were chippy dog walk Man City, but man I compare him to man we I go in a France next year. People has way more skills than Bailey. Pepe. And he couldn't cut it. So Bailey isn't as good as Nelson. It took Bailey two and a half years to start doing anything for Aston Villa. Reese Nelson is going to Brighton this summer. Make him go on. The minute him have two bad game, them Brits will turn to call in for him scalp. Come out your feelings, people. Leon is top quality. Arsenal have better quality than Villa. Yeah, what well, you say, fresh guy? He set up bad, though. No? Yeah, man. Man, them emotional, bad. Only recently he proved for Villa. Prospect bigger contract motivated him. Reese Nelson and Bailey is on the same level. Mm. So when I say, we spar burn up a place, you know. When I say people, we spar burn up a place, you know, like how we spar go on. Coach, we don't need the Phoenix baggage, them too toxic. Mm. Bill is a good player. Big deal and chipping a player in a JPL, EPL, him scored him goals on the weekend. So him put his country behind in disrespectful manner and we out here looking to see him back. Last season, a Nelson a save Arsenal. The man now want to play for the flag. If he doesn't come back f for the qualifiers and Copa, he shouldn't come back. Mm. Always come on and score and assist. Pure bull crap. If he doesn't play in the qualifying rounds, he must not be considered for a World Cup squad. Really? Any man that don't want to play World Cup for his country is a tra trailer. Whispers four goals, three assists in seven games. Good stats. Eh, hey, wanna say, wanna say, whisper is like a game, a goal, a goal, a game, you know. Whisper and Bailey Kadamatri will be playing under threat for Jamaica. Big deal then. How you get that? I know me, I know me say much. Remember say Rob Smith and Leon Bailey say him take a break indefinitely you now. So oh yeah ask me where if he choose when to come back. Obviously 
a him say him take a break indefinitely. He never say him, him, him left the team totally. He say my focus on club right now. Yeah, man, we spark going on the bag of things. Hey, and the goal, when you must score, you know. When you talk about placement, you know. When you talk about composure, you know. When you talk about finesse, you know. Yo, whisper, whisper, go on, people. And I can't take that from whisper right now. Mm -hmm. Might as well call Jamaica. Bailey FC. Oh, any old grimy call about Bailey into the team after he basically told the world he's a shot coach. He should be fired, in my opinion. Coach Grimm would love Dwight McNeil in him. Work rate is great. Um, but so so big deal then. I just work rate. Grimm want people to find a team. On top chat foolishness, yeah, man. You may just say I say Rob Smith need to learn ball, you know. And if you use that. Uh, Thing about work rate. You can't talk about work rate alone. You have to bring something else to the table, brother. Yo. I bet I beat Chippy for about a week. I'm ready to move on now. I don't have a uterus, so I don't carry belly. And can't bet Rob Smith have a big gut in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> and a boy not carry belly. <laughs> I used to the people never had type. <laughs> we want and need belly, but we want big or kiss him foot. If Grimmy let back belly into the team without an apology proves he's a puppet, but a weak one also. You can't tell it. So, poor, so poor him get apology and nobody don't know. You can't just make a blanket statement like that. Rescue. Reese is a good look, you know. Loot and fire, what go on? We need both Leon Bailey and Reese Nelson. People, your phone line, what me, you know, man? You know, no call it, you know, man? The man just need to apologize to the team. To the, his teammates. No public apology. All when the player said he wants a break, people still push him up in the team. The next thing he's going to do is wo walk off the field in the middle of a game. So, Kevin, who are put him in a who are push him up in our team? Who are push him up in our team, Kevin Dallas sign? You know, so sometimes me, me feel say someone of void understanding on a block on the mind to certain um reasoning we need to be more objective in the reasoning you know, people we can't just have one trap mind you know we have to look upon situation from different perspective Rene Simois don't carry Walter Blackaboy the people then ask you Walter Blackaboy Walter Blackaboy got, got friends so what uh, Walter Blackaboy did for apologize and he never do it and the coach weak. Rene Simone's weak for carry him. I don't stop a foolishness, man. I can't look on the thing one way, man. And about people are calling back. Nobody now say nothing. So, 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 so be if you come back. Um just come walk back in side. But what if the coach have a conversation with him? What if JFF have a conversation with him? What if they can work out the differences? Without a public apology. Come on, man. Make we, make we stop looking at the thing one track now, man. Arsenal players better than Aston Villa. Don't have one fan in J.A. <laughs> Bailey better than Nelson right now. But Nelson not getting regular game. I think Nelson would be good for Jamaica. Side topic coach. But Roas is out of the Olympics. Yeah, man, we discussed that on the show before, you know, um, Dreyrus. Yeah, man, we talked about that on the track and field live. 
That's why our picture is on a, a, a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. I honestly believe we treat Leon like he's some JPL player because he's not a dual citizen. We hype up and big championship baller to play for us, but we don't want to recruit Leon. Crazy talk. Exactly, Rob Smith. And that may answer the man name one trap mine. Leon, Leon, yo, I'm gonna stop it, man. The disrespect to Bill is unreal. Why treat our own like this? Exactly. So, we have to, have to be fear in our utterances. And that may I say, we can't have one trap mentality. If you coach one about Leon Bailey, and in come and in a perform, bench him. If in come and in perform, keep him or don't bench him. We can't say, yo, we don't want back Leon Bailey because yada, yada, yada. Listen, many of you in the comment section, when you're upset, when you're having situations unfavorable against you, Wanna say some things, wanna regret after. Wanna would I want the person wanna say them things that two are just right and half like letter? I doubt it. All wanna say, you know, me be a a perform. Exactly, but you might perform for your Aston Villa. So, what are you saying? Nah, perform for Aston Villa? No, nah, man, we have to talk about the good way you to do. His return to the team is solely based on the coach and the technical team. We can pick, we can we have our different preferences. And one of the next things to have to understand every single person on this platform cannot be jurors. Jurors might share the same opinion with you with a little difference. Everybody now go share the same opinion. So why if a man share his, his opinion different, you not go fight the person. You don't need to respect people's opinion, man. I saw conversation I go nice, you know. Every time we have a fight, no nah, man, you don't leave out the fighting, man. Can't, can't turn everything in a war, everything, so man. Come on, man. Make we elevate that, man. Reason else is a Premier League pass master in looking at Premier League players who have played 15 games or more. Nelson ranks first for passing accuracy. You know, say, you see that passing accuracy thing they're still nitro. You can't really challenge that, you know. Because you have to look and tell me if these passes are lateral passes, if these passes are refresh passes, if these passes are forward passes. Yes, the man say. Are five yard passes versus ten yard passes versus fifteen yard passes versus twenty yard passes. So the, the, the them accuracy thing they can can be misleading, brother. First girl, but Omari not play no Copa qualifiers, but he should play Copa. His mark of, hey, but Rob Smith. You can a pressure um Omari Hutchinson so to you know. So it look like you pressure Omari and now pressure Bailey. I saw your argument a come across, you know. And the two men then decide say they are going to focus on their clubs. Make a decision, leave over to your coach the man and stop pressure the ball of them. His mark is 95.28% for complete passes. Is shared by Mickey Van de Vaart of Tottenham. Rob Smith, did I say he should play Copa, brother? Whisper look even bigger in body, nah lie. Yeah, man. Whisper really a turn sound leather. Nobody else is saying we should beg him back. I know some have to stop redancing this. Okay, now you yeah, talk now. So if, if the passes are being made in the opposition half and he's the most accurate in the opposition half, that is good. But Nitro, hear me now. If 
the team is sitting back, then passes are, are going to be made in the opposition half. My question is now, how many forward passes are those? How many uh, 20 yard passes are those? How many 10 yard passes are those? Because if you do it 5 yard, 6 yard, then they can easily uh, go be accurate, you know. Them they can be accurate seeing where Nitro you have to tell me, you have to give me them stats. Them me, me not just work with stats, so me a question the stats. See him like come a question the dictionary. Bailey playing for Jamaica again cannot be up to Bailey. The box stops with the coach. Yes. If you are a fan who's prone to shouting, keep the ball. During those nervy moments late in games, Nelson may just be your man. Determine you rep what you saw, bro. You rep what you saw. You expect people to be pleased after what he said. Yeah, man. But remember, I play a game in a week, up in a week to and score, you know, man. So, Whisper go on a bag of things. Anywhere we look upon it, Whisper play ball. Now, it's a good start, but most of those are off the bench, aren't they? Love Whisper's progress. Imagine Whisper, Sterling and Omari at Chelsea next season. Mm. So, so, Whisper now go there and Sterling now go there. <laughs> we all know with, without Bailey, Whisper not taking any call from JFF. Stop fooling yourself. The call not run so. But look look here. So if Whisper get call and no come. How 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 that how that how, tell me how that go. Every man decides that they want to come or come not you know. When them get call, you know. That's the only time they can determine if they come yes or no. The player stated that he has mental issues and need a break. Why are we still talking about him in the team? You're looking at it in in one shot. I'm going after what the player stated. So him have mental issues and him take a break. Alright, so who against him taking a break? That a one. So you put well, you put a comma there, so, so we pause. See? You say I take a break. And him say I take a break. It's an indefinite break. So we don't know when him saying break I go up. And when him saying break I go up, that is up to the coach if he want him back in the team. See? Comma. Why are we still talking about him in the team? Who are talking about him in the team now, um, Kevin? Come on, man. Because you don't like certain things, that means you can't raise anything. Nobody now saying back in our team. Everybody has say up to your coach. And everybody has say nothing wrong if your coach pick him back. Some people have said he need to apologize before him come back. So all oh, you say, people have said him in our team. Kevin, upgrade the reasoning. Put, put an next dollar sign on the thing there. One dollar sign or one dollar that in a man. Up, up your money. Because there's no one truck here. Heard that all on a pre Sims. Bailey says he wants to focus on club football. Why we can't hear the man says he doesn't need Jamaica? Why are we begging the man to play? Bailey should never play for Jamaica again. So why we why why we are say him not to play for Jamaica again? The man say I take a break, brother. 
why we are saying enough to play for Jamaica again? He man a focus on in club right now. Why would he say, all right, done with Leon Bailey? He never saying done with the football team. He say, I take a break. Right. The man on a finger tough, yeah, man. I see him thinking, man, I'm going to type back. In life, we all make mistakes. Give Chippy a break, man. I know we ever give him a break, Nitro, but I people him say him not to come back here. Yeah. Him man never say him done with the Jamaica team indefinitely, you know. Him say him take a break and he don't know when he might he might, he might something there. He might, he might free up in meds. Oh, go on, Alex. Yeah, I mean, night. Um, Kevin, what if he said what he said in anger because he was suspended? You see, only not think about problem solving to you know, Kevin. A man could be in a, in a angry mode and him say some things where he never really want to say because he got suspended. Seeing that's why I say when I look on the thing one way. There are multiple ways you can look on the thing, brother. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to ignore that next comment with Kevin, right? Bailey never apologized to Villa. V Bailey assured the fans them saying no, God, no that's an apology. A.M. Henry. Him this a coach, him this him colleagues and Jamaica. Alright, we accept that. Seeing? Well, me accept that. How is that one track? How is it one track? Because that is not the point where we are talking about one track. The point where we are talking about one track, the man say, Bailey now want to play for your team again. And the people have to move on. So you are bringing it from a different perspective in, a, in a AM Henry. But Kevin are talking about, a man say no want to play while we are forcing back. A man say I take a break, he never say done with the team indefinitely. At that, me and me, me are talking about with Kevin in a AM. So you bring a different argument to the thing. When I say out loud, a Kevin comment that me I read and I say one track him one track. Where you say totally different from what Kevin I say no. Yeah, true words mean coach means the people need to respect others' opinion and stop telling them to lift up this. Respect. Of course. We now have the same opinion. And as A.M. Henry says, she make a statement and she said, in her opinion, she believes. We don't, we don't, me no must agree with A.M. Somebody else no must agree with A.M. But you know, see me, I say, yo, A.M., lift up off of this, come off of this. I don't say that. We have to learn how to, how to live for a reason. And I, I think that's our problem with Jamaica. You know? We don't have no problem solving skill. We quick fit. Attack and attack and attack. And when we are play a ball game, we not attack. <laughs> Cranky Wagon. Big deal in a switch. A switch between account though. Whisper going to play under 20, not Copa. We don't know. And then that may I say, uh, that may I say, fresh guard. 
I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes the people have a reason, you know. The black male and then see that. You see, the, 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 the football thing, more time with a reason. You see, because, well. Who has a Bailey ago missing party, um, Phil B? Oh, if you miss him party, the man, the man no say my guy and party, brother. The man no say him take a break from the team. Oh, we are say him a promote for miss party. Oh, that come in a conversation. Yo. Bug deal. <laughs> <laughs> no Phoenix to our national team. Why Brown Bear? Why no Phoenix player to the national team? No man, me know he can't take back your word fresh. Once he go out in a in a atmosphere, he can't take it back. But mediation can take place that our me know about. So your words were, were spoken already, you can't take it back. And when your heart come out to your mouth, you know. You see me, I say? You can't take it back. And worse when you're upset, a data go come out. A, and the whole truth go come out. So I don't say it for it, 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 him, him to take it back. And some, some, some argument where you speak, there are consequences for your action. I know. Well, him basically drop himself and when you look upon it, it sounds as if him said the coach did call him even though the coach is suspending him. I try to get him play. So what that I tell me is when I did look from this, you know, so even though Leon did do the interview, the coach possibly will call him and try to get him back. And that, uh, based on that conversation, I said that to you know, people. So, when you just look on the wider, um, can, uh, I look deep, deeper than that. So, if 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 the coach is suspend him, and this is based on what them say, you know, the coach suspend him. Seeing before the game, this is what Bailey said. The coach call him and I talk to him for him come back in our team. So the coach seems as if he was trying to persuade him to come back. But Leon Bailey don't make look like him shame and say, yo, he not take no this. So guess what? Me now nah come in on a team because I don't tell me say me suspended. So yeah, come call me back. But you have some people like that, you know, seeing? Him go do the interview. If you quote suspend him and I call him back. If he do the interview and do what he do. Only no fee say quote still would have call him to. Only no, only no tell me say me attack foolish man because. Be a the trend where me see. Me I read the trend, brother. And sister. Me I read the trend. You see me I say? So upon that perspective, me I look fun. I remember I said I talked to you, I, I talked about that part, my, my, I give my breakdown of the whole conversation already, you know. So this is a different way we are talking about it now.
No, me I did up from the situation in a, in a, in a fresh God. And look, look, look into what I say fresh God. I'm going to say it again. A man suspend a man and I call him back according to him say, a few days before the squad reveal. If he say if he can come. And because him say, yo, a man this me I'm not forward enough. You know things say the coach would have called him back even with the after the interview. I now put that pass. That they on the bucket list. <laughs> Some of them comment and are worthy for reading now. That's why I say according to what they say. You know what I say? According to what they say. So that that is the reference that that is what was out there in the atmosphere, you know. I can't talk by women a year. Even if I the injury cause that a man I got thrones, you know. Yo, 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 suspend me and true, yeah, in a problem, yeah, come call me, but me not come nowhere. And then me come out and say, yo, me I take a break, you know, too much pressure. That can go on. And that is a good point to um, AM. So if, if the coach now has no option, then he probably will call him. And that's why I may say the, 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 the recruiting step up for Reese Nelson because Leon Bailey uncertainty. Mm hmm. Because of the Leon Bailey uncertainty, they up the recruitment. Is it me? Yeah, I look upon it one way. No, I mean, I me play out all of this, the, 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 the avenue them um fresh God. So, on a one way, I look upon it. I mean, I alone look upon it that way. There. So, it will be one way. And I talk about mediation. Or next lane that. Come on, fresh God. I me alone I stretch it. Some people stick and I say, yo, enough to come back. Some people I say XYZ. Enough to put on back his shirt again. At the extreme circumstances or situation they may say. Me even talk say if they apologize and it, it, it happen behind closed door. If it can sort out. I'm here, I'm one way to look upon it, man. You know, I remember. I'm not a big fan of Bailey. Who are big for Bailey? I don't know, get it twisted, people. I'm not a big fan of Bailey. I'm not a big fan of guy. So, I don't get it twisted. I just I bring the story and I look upon it from multiple point of views.
me no believe when him do, him should have do. Do the interview if he come say, in uh, him at take a break because of XYZ. That could have be a innocent thing. See, that could have be a innocent conversation, you know. Talk to the management team and say management XYZ. Talk to the technical team and say XYZ. But you run come do interview in the public. I don't rate that. That not show professionalism. So yeah, talk about the people in you know, the professional, but yet still you are do something in you know, the professional. You cannot be a part of an entity and nobody in an entity knows say, you're not going to come. Or you're going to take a break. Me have a challenge with that. So I don't pick up for the man. I always fear across the board. See? I think I'm going to lose so. mm -hmm. You can't have ball for professionalism. And that action where you do is not a professional action. According to the, to, 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 to the work world. If me I work with an entity and me have some issues, me I write to the entity or go sit down with the leader of the entity to have a conversation so if me can get some time off. Also, you normally give two weeks notice. Even though it was on suspension. It does tr it's tricky still it does. <laughs> Yo, real baller, how oh, may I be an apologist? What is the meaning of that word, sir? Yo, I want to know, man. When you just uh, use terminologies, I may, may I present situations, I look upon situations, I look upon this, I look upon that. And you say I be an apologist? Yo. I don't think I don't say. I don't think, you know. And me say, people opinion in our comment section, people feel respect it. So if a man has said, be enough to come, if a man has said this, if a man has said that, we still have respect it because we have different views. Why didn't I call the person an apologist? Because everybody have different views. See, see Jairus has said, in can come back if he apologize. Why you not say Jairus has be an apologist? I'm telling you this. I'm barely a friend. I'm me 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 none of the Phoenix people. I'm a friend. So how can I be an apologist? I'm not run back on the Phoenix people. I'm not run back on um, Leon Bailey. So how may I be an apologist? Think where you say I'm um, real baller. Think where you say. I'm not run back on people, brother. So there is no apologist argument in that. You just want to talk. You do alone for talk. I have a reason why I reason, you know. When you go for you, you do name call, brother. I know so reasoning go. That is a point to Rob Smith. And you can't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat me Exactly. <laughs> you know you talk, Ram Smith. Call me for some bullshit, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you see, nobody na 
Now nah, pressure something there though. Well, because I understand why Trivante now in a conversation. Because Trivante no big like Bailey. And the people them say, they could have cared less about Trivante. <laughs> hey, Rob Smith, guy your bed no man. <laughs> you come forgive problem, Rob Smith, guy your bed man. Rob Smith, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, um, like with some people that say, lift up Rob Smith. <laughs> lift up off ice stream, Rob Smith. <laughs> you. Oh, cranky in the building. Cranky. I have to my headset. Can you hear me? Yeah, we are here. But we're not seeing it still, no, but we are here. I don't know why you're not seeing me because. Um... Your voice gone. Huh? Your voice gone. Yeah, we are here now. We need some volume though. People now hear cranky clearly. volume gone man it low low we are here about the low Cranky, yes, yes, we're not here the same way. We did a year, all of a sudden, we're not here again. Um, I guess feedback from the headset. Yeah. All right, we are here now, but it's low. You don't have to hear yourself now, we are here. <laughs> Chivantes. Yeah, man, I see you too. But you're not show up on the screen. I see you do. Alright, let me go out and come back in. Me know, me know no, that. man, you stay, man. Alright, go on, go on. Go on. Josh Wilson, as Brown, remember the name 2021. So, yeah, tell you about some of the injury right now. If you remember any, I want to, um, Little League Len, man. Huh? We are here about the law. Probably I need to put the mic close to you, man. You good now? You good now? Huh? You good now? Yeah, man. It's supposed to be good now. 
Se on älykö betä. Yo, big deal then. But wait, what you did, did a while ago then is premature. You are telling me say me no know baller. What you did is premature. You can't tell us to look out for a baller. Then you say, oh, he's injured right now. That is garbage and nonsense. Wait till the ball get well, then you start telling people about him. Who don't know a baller? Big deal, go sit down, man. Go and go take some picture. Go and go take some picture. You can't tell me about a baller and I say injury right now. And I tell me, say me no know a baller. You can't tell me about injured baller, brother. That don't make no sense to me. Knowing the name of a baller no means say you know the baller. My cranky your son can't string up. I know around with him, I get a buzzing sound on my ear, coach. But we are here, we not hear the buzzing sound. But me I hear it, me no I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it good so we not hear it. Me I in a sweat. Hey, Mr. Piper. What up, coach? What up, there, I sweat. Was it nervous? What up, what up, coach? <laughs> Once we now hear the buzzing sound, it, uh, it's a good look. Yeah, my bed, I'm a bedtime, that you know. Bedtime sound forward, you know. Jerome, what's going <laughs> Yeah, hear it? Eh? I my big headset, the headset them. The sure headset now nah, hear nothing. It is sure, you know. I mean, I hear it. Him out of the 60 man pool, Jaja. So look like it can get dashed out completely. And what kind of poverty setting crank here? <laughs> a ween with a a ween with tonight. Headset a buzz no ear in his house. No, nah, my headset's supposed to be able to go on mute. Not mute, but um like you know, silent we're, or whatever. Well ear loud and clear. Whatever the categories are, but it's not keeping out the noise, it's supposed to it's a blackout noise. I'm getting feedback, which is not good. So what are you doing, coach? They I, I, I take I take on the people in the comment section you know. I, Relate, relating to what? Relating to Bailey. You have some for Bailey and some <laughs> against Bailey. <laughs> uh, I'm reluctant to speak on, on a certain player because you know, I've been told that I hate the player and um I, I, I find that very discouraging and disappointing. People think I hate any given player because I just and assess and judge players based on how they play. And how they operate, nothing about them personally. And I'm not sure why. Ad, yeah, go ahead. Ad, that me I tell them, Cranky, say, you can't try to diss people because of their opinion. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why somebody think you would hate. I'm not sure why any fan would hate a player. They may not how the play, they may not like how the player behaves, how the player performs. But people don't hate. You don't know the person to have some. To, to have that extreme perspective on the person so you hate them that doesn't make any sense that's not that's probably logical actually mm. um so that's very i heard gunner's boss said that that because there's a view if you're very critical of a certain player and obviously the player is very prominent in the team that you hate the player and um i find that to be 
somewhat discouraging and disappointing actually. Um, mm-hmm. and, and I hear people complain that you hate any player that plays in the EPL who you may criticize harshly. They're not saying you hate that player. Yeah. But all of a sudden, when it's closer to home, you're viewed to hate the player. So it is what it is. Um, the, hip- the hypocrisy of 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 Jamaicans. What is Ray Baller saying that Gunners gazoo your microphone cranky? What does that mean? What does the term gazoo mean? Obi, I'm at the word. Oh. <laughs> see, see, I'm out of the loop on those things because I don't believe in nonsense. <laughs> I don't believe in things like Obi and witchcraft and all that nonsense. I believe in science. So if it's not logical and it can't be proven, I'm not into it. Now, some things are... are appear illogical but they're not because they're scientific and we haven't got the point of understanding those things yet they may seem strange but no things like obia no no i'll take chances at obia any day or whatever whatever that entails (laughs) so yeah but no i don't i don't i don't hate any player um and you and i coach about this ad nauseum coach with me being you know i said this all the time our biggest critic of hector and I've come full circle on Hector, so mm. I didn't hear anybody complain that I hate Hector. Yeah, how come you guys ever complain that I hate Hector? Where, where is that actually that I hated Hector and I talk about Hector too much? You guys were all on board and jump on the bandwagon because mm. he's not. I guess he's not born in Jamaica, but all of a sudden you talk about somebody born in Jamaica and you're now deemed to be a hater. Like that's crazy, actually. Um, so, what do you think? What we supposed exploit so far? I hope those exploits continue. I hope they continue to get better and better and that the kid maximizes his potential because he has a lot of potential. Um, but my hope is that with that upward trajectory comes a sense of maturity, a sense of humility, a sense mm-hmm. of growth that will help him because a lot of players do well on the field but have challenges off the field. And so you would like the person to grow as a person along with their abilities on the field, on the field of play, and mature into what you aspire for anyone to be a, a great person. Because um, your success sometimes on the field depends upon how things operate off the field. So my hope is that he continues to grow in all aspects and continues to do well. And it bodes well for him. I'm not going to talk about the country because I'm not as reluctant to talk about players that they or they translate to the country. When they're playing for the country, I'll comment on them. When they're not playing, I'm reluctant to say anything because unless it's somebody who may not qualify and then you want them to qualify, then I'll have a perspective. Bless up um, sports management. Um, but I, I do think, though, that um, Things bodes well for Jamaica going forward, at least on the field for the men's team. And, and I do think we got to spend more time. Boy, I'm a sweat coach. I was in nervous. Oh, I'm the time. AC. Um, AC, not in time I coach you, man. AC, right? But me not talking about AC. You know exactly that. Or what's the temperature here? I don't, I don't know AC time. We have too much heat. That's probably the problem. I need to turn the heat off, actually. It's 56 degrees outside, so I can't AC. Let us turn off my heat, actually. You know, I'm going to do that right now. I mean, I saw it inside now. Um, nest. Let me see what the temperature is supposed to be inside my house. It's 74 degrees. You know what? It needs to go. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off. But no, I mean, I don't. I don't. Um, my hope is that the players in outside the US, I'm not going to say in England, who by lineage have the ability to play for Jamaica and aspire to do so that we pursue those players. If a player doesn't want to play, are they ambivalent? Then when they make their minds up, we see if we have space for them. If we don't, we don't. But I don't think we should knock players who may be vacillating about whether they want to play or not, and they're not sure, or those who may have decided to come like a, what's his name? Katamarte, whatever his name is, and then change his mind. That's up to him. That's up to the player. As I've always said, Coach, I said this numerous times, the player's first priority is themselves and their family. Mm-hmm. Right? Themselves and their family. Because I'm going to give you an example, coach. When a player pl- stops playing or is discarded, we're not sitting around lamenting about the player. 
unless we believe that we're that value. We just go on with our lives, and then they got to pick the pieces up. So I always believe the players should focus on themselves and their family. And then if they decide to play for a national team and they have the ability and the coach wants them, then that's a different story, you know, right? They come to the team and they understand that if they don't perform, they're going to get criticized. If they perform, they're going to get lauded. They're going to get all the flowers they deserve if they perform. And that's how life works in general. Um, so, yeah. Ho hopefully, we get more players in. I've always said we should have at least two players for every single position. Mail forward. Um, yeah, run out. Yeah, I've always said we should have. See, let me just come on. I'm Minzy, run guy left me. Uh, I've always said we should have two players for every single position. And that is because you never know. Player may decide to not play anymore. Player may get injured. Player may have situations that preclude them from playing. You want to make sure in any team that you're in, you have two or three players. So if someone is out, they're replaceable. They're replaced because everybody should be replaceable, frankly. In your team now some players have certain capability which are hard to replace from an equivalency standpoint but they're replaceable you just may not be as good as the player who you're replacing so if we have two or three players for every position we will not be struggling to say or oh, this you know peanut drop out or what we're going to do well hector came in and showed you that you know what peanut is replaceable amari bell got injured Greg Lee, who played before and played well, came in and, and played well. Dexter may be out. Well, you'd like to be near can translate to Dexter's position. That's the kind of interchangeable players you want and players that can play in different positions. We seem to have an abundance of defenders now. Because to be frank, let's be frank, people. Going forward, we have four center backs, capable center backs, between Low, Bernard, Hector, and Pinot. Here's the question gonna rise for the coach. And even Lati can play there. Who would be the if you go 4-4-2? Or four three three. Who will play in the center? People say well, Pinnock has to start. Does he? He's playing phenomenal in the EPL before his injury. Really well for Brentford for the last four or five years. But the way all the center backs are playing, they all deserve to play. Low transition to midfield. I don't think midfield is low position. I've always said Lowe's play against Canada in the midfield is the best performance I've ever seen for Jamaica. Period. And he only played one half. But having seen him play midfield now about four times, he's not a midfielder. The position needs more than defense. If you look at the CDM qualification and requirements and what they need to be successful with a positional play, spatial awareness, being able to recycle the ball, being able to determine the tempo of the play, I don't think he has a lot of attributes. Defensively, he's very, very good. But somebody has to take the ball up the defense and move the ball forward. Somebody has to get the other midfielders involved and get the forwards involved. That's not his forte. So even though I think he, he was phenomenal against Canada, and when he played over in the Mideast, he played also well, I don't think that's him. We need midfielders. So we seem to have abundance of forwards or people with Jamaica lineage, whether it's Sims or Dwight McNeil or Reese Nelson or Greenwood. There are a bunch of players who have Jamaican lineage who can possibly play mainly out on the wings, even some in the center. But I don't hear, and I hear Lewis Baker, who's okay, but I don't hear a lot of midfielders who we'd all get excited about. I do think there are players like Kai Walker-Peters who can transition to midfield, frankly. He's played right back most of his life or wing back most of his life. But I would love to see a player like that come in who's very versatile, can play left, right, but it's good on the ball, but we need midfielders who like a, and I hate to go back to him because he's just not playing any football, like a Ravel who um, can dictate tempo, can make a 40 yard pass with a five yard pass, can get by a man, can dip a shoulder. We need players with those skill set, and we don't have that. Now, Kara Anderson may have some of those skills and hopefully continues to develop, but we need midfielders more than we need center half nowadays. Are you back, coach? coach yeah, man, continue, continue. Yeah, no, no. So we, we need midfielders. I mean, but if you look at the team, I'm I'm pleased with our goalkeepers. I'm pleased with our defenders. And I hear another defender maybe coming in, which is us adding more to the mix. It'll be interesting. I'm pleased. I'm mainly pleased with, with our forward line. Our wing plays good. Our center forwards 
I think need to do better, to be honest, between both Nicholson and Antonio. And if Simmons decided to come in at some point, that'd be a good addition. But what we don't hear is the midfielders who have the ability for us to compete against both Mexico and the U.S. That's what we need. I say most of the ball is played is in the middle of the park. That's where most of the, you can protect your, de your defense and where you can get your offense involved. And that's not what we have today. I know DJ is a decent player. I know Lowe has been tried there. K Roy has ability. But Bobby Reed has been tried as a 10. But we need we need more in the midfield, coach. Much more in the midfield. We need at least three players in the midfield. And we got to go find them. And it wasn't here's what's interesting, coach. So I'm gonna bring up a controversial point. We see a lot of players of, I'm gonna call it African descent in the Premier League who are dominating in the more forward lines and mainly in the defense, but we don't see a lot of CDM who are exceptional. You have a Bissuma, for example, who is good. You look at a CDM role, not a lot of people from that, with that lineage, and even English players who may have that lineage. English-born players of Jamaican heritage who fit that mold. We have a lot of right and left back, center forwards, wingers, but we don't have a lot of that. And the question is why? That's an interesting thing that people haven't talked about. We don't see a lot of that, actually. We have a Ramsey from, from Villa who may be a possibility, but I think he's going to try to play for England. Let me talk about Gibbs White, but Gibbs White is mainly a winger at 10. He's not, he's not an 8 or a 6, so it's going to be interesting how we go about sourcing that position. But what the JFF should be thinking about is how does Jamaica develop people in that position where there's a need, right? How does the JPL or school board football or prep school football provide the guidance, the coaching to enable players in the middle of the park, which is the most difficult part of the park to play because you're not isolated. You're not on the wing or, a, or maybe the center forward is probably even more difficult, but you're not on the wing. You're in the middle of the park where there's a lot of traffic. How do I get players with the thought process, the knowledge to play in that part of the field and be effective? That's something that needs to be considered. But that, that seems to be a position that is basically dwindling down a little bit. Yeah, mainly for certain groups, actually, I think. Now... In some areas in South America, you're seeing some of that. You know, like Ecuador, for example, seem to be having a few. Some countries seem to have a few, but it's not a norm. You look at like Nigeria, for example. They don't have a lot of great midfielders. They have a few, but their forward line is stacked, right? Boniface up front. They have a bunch of forwards. Really natural. If you look at the African teams, stacked at the forward line, not a lot of great midfielders. Some good midfielders, but not great midfielders. And the question, how do you coach that to get great midfielders? Mm. So Pagan is saying I have a stereotypical point of view. What does that mean, Pagan? I'm confused. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes we make comments in the comment section and you say a stereotypical point of view. What is what is meant by do you not understand what stereotypical is supposed to entail? Why that's a point of view? I, I'm confused. I'm confused. Yes, I'm very confused. Or maybe you're confused. Um, <laughs> if you can elaborate on your point, actually. So it makes sense to me. Ravel did not play well in the four games under this coach. That's the reason why he's not called. That's not true, Rob Smith. I can tell you that's not true. That, first of all, that's why he's not called. Um, so you're espousing the narrative which is not accurate what that's is your what, what I'm not talking about why he's not called coach but I'm just saying that's not why he's not called <laughs> that's not why he's not called now Ravel you say he didn't play well he may not have played great but the team wasn't really doing that well in the early part they weren't great in the early part the team is getting better over time the team seemed to be gelling just right about the gold cup and has had some ups and downs, but in the, for the most part, has played well. Subsequent to the um, subsequent to the period before the Gold Cup, I think since the Gold Cup, the team has played well, mainly actually, and creating chances. So, and missing players almost every single window.
Yeah, first they didn't play well. First, I have to go back and think, but I, was, I say, and the question is, who played well first? That's the question you should ask yourself. Who was playing so great at that point? Because I said, at one point, we weren't playing that well as a team in the early part. He, had, he didn't play in the Gold Cup. He didn't play, as I said, since the Gold Cup, we've been playing well. He didn't play well. He didn't play um, during the Gold Cup, and he hasn't played since. But this is not about Ravel. This is about trying to find quality midfielders. You know, Ravel's career has been up and up and down for the longest. And he may not be the solution, but we need people of that similar skill set and similar capability to be in the middle of the park. But the, the um fresh on Rob Smith is saying under under this coach, he has been horrible, you know. He never play well in the Argentina game, in the Trinidad game, or the Mexico game. Right. Uh, uh... But did we play Argentina or did Argentina just or did we just run around against Argentina? <laughs> <laughs> Argentina, for example, for anything. Um, yeah, look, I mean, he's not playing a lot of football and repetition is what you need in football and need to be fit to play. So we have seen his ability. His ability is not in doubt, coach. Whether he plays well or not, his ability is not in doubt. We have seen all the other players play. But let's forget about Ravel because he may never come back into this team. He doesn't have a club as far as I know, even though I think he has some options out there. Who else can fit in the middle of the park? That's the question. You yeah, see what Brian, um, Brian no, said? Yeah, yeah, but Brian, it, playing well means we dominate the team we're supposed to dominate, and we held our game home against the teams that are better than us, frankly. So you go back to all the games we have played today, even though I think we struggled a little bit, in some of the Nations League games that we played against, like Honduras and Haiti, like we're down two left to Haiti, Honduras missed a bunch of chances. But we played well enough in the Gold Cup, except when we played Mexico, right? Because we could have beaten the U.S. We missed that penalty against the U.S., even though people say it's their B team. They don't have a B team anymore, as far as I'm concerned. Um, we played the Nations League semi. We could have beat the U.S., even though we played a low block. But then Arsenal played a low block against City, because people do that when teams are better than you. But the fact of the matter is, Brian, is that I don't think the Jamaican public will be satisfied with playing just 40 yard passes and defending. And I think that that's the coach's background, whether one admit it or not. You come from Iceland, you're playing Europe, you don't have those set of players who have this skills that like the, the Spaniards do, for example, or the Germans do. They play long ball and defend. And that's what the coach, to me, that's what he does. So. Do we want outcome that are positive? Or do we want outcome with a certain flair attached to it? And is that feasible for this team at this moment? Now, I say, what teams we dominated? We dominated like the Trinidad of the world and the Grenades of the world, Brian. Oh, you didn't watch those games. <laughs> Brian, you didn't watch those games? We dominated those teams. We should have beaten the US in the Gold Cup. What do you mean? Um, we don't dominate the Canadas, the Mexicos, the Costa Ricas, the Panamas. Because, frankly, they've been better than us, are better than us, right? We are fifth in the region for a reason. Our ranking aligns with where we actually are. In fact, we may be, we are in the fifth, sixth slot. We're not in the one, three slot. So at some point, but I mean, the U.S. to me is ahead of everyone else. They keep dominating Mexico. You know, Canada probably played them better than any team nowadays. But at the end of the day, if we think about it, um... We, you need better players to compete. That's what it is. You need better players to compete. And we may think the players we have now are sufficient, but we still need to improve the squad, especially in the middle of the park. You can't protect your defense if you don't have quality midfielders, and you can't get the ball to your midfield, the offense if you don't have quality midfielders. And the longer the pass is, the less probability the pass reaches its destination. So you make 40-yard pass, I'm sure the percentage the probability of the pass reaching its destination is much less than you make a five-yard pass. That's a fact. So we have to change that. We we somehow have to change that. And the coaches go find the midfielders. So Pekan says, according to Black to Cranky, black men cannot play midfield. Wow. That's what you got from what I say, Pagan. Yes, you see the comment um, on the comment. That's amazing. No, coach, let me stay on that, coach. That's amazing. Somebody draw that conclusion. You sound like a MAGA person. You know the people who support Trump? That's what you sound like. That's all I say about that. Like you have no sense. That's what I'll say. 
Do you want to battle tonight? I'm going to give it to you. You sound like somebody who have no sense, can't reason, not logical, not deductive. Go ahead, coach. So next, Mr. Target and neither. And we just start. See, just see start. comment upon it is something there. It's typical because they started saying that players of African descent, that means race don't have. No, nobody's. I'm saying, okay, so tell me a CDM of African descent in Premier League who is doing exceptionally well. We have the Rodrys, we have the Rice, we have the Polinos. You tell me one, apart from maybe Basum, who has done well, who's doing exceptionally well. I'm going to ask you to tell me. Nobody said African people African descent can't play midfield. And you guys draw your conclusion you want. I'm pointing to facts. So you give me your facts and shut me up. That's all you got to do. Give me your facts. Where's the Makaleles of the world? Where are the Essians of the world? You give me your facts and we can talk about it. But don't make statement or draw a conclusion about me saying black people can't play CDM because I never said that. I said the facts suggest that we're not developing them or they're not coming through or they're focused probably on playing where the glory is up front. Where did I say that black people don't have the intellect to play CDM? Wow. They said Thomas Party. Yes, Thomas Party is a brilliant CDM. They said my team. But if you look at the EPL in terms of percentage of people of African descent versus the total team population, it, just look at Jamaicans. Uh, I'll give you an example. There's between five hundred and half a million person of Jamaican descent in the U, in the UK. You know the percentage of the footballers is to that population. The, the, the United Kingdom has about sixty eight million people, and we have half a million to a million. Right? That's less than 05 percent. You know how much percent of Jamaicans there, Jamaican lineage, are in the EPL? It's a significant, of the championship, a significant number, percentage-wise. Now, tell me how much of those percentage-wise are playing CDM and playing it well. We keep talking about what's his name. Um, what's his name? He used to play for Newcastle. His name is Stephen. Miller. Um, he Aiden. Um, Aiden. That's the only one we really talk about as a CDM. And Aiden is playing championship football when he left Newcastle, and he's not even that good anymore. T name me another one we can point out to. I can point out to Greenwood or Nelson or all these people who play up front, right? And Tony, Conte, Sims, Caicedo. No, no, back up, guys, back up, back up, back up, back up. Swan, back up, back up. Swan is the point. I'm going to come to that. I'm going to come to that. Stay on point. I'm going to come to it. Lavia is not there. Indeed, he's not great. Stay on point. I use Rodri and Rice and Polino as example. So give me a corresponding example. Here's my point, though. Name me a very good CDM of Jamaican lineage Playing in the EPL. A very, very good CDM. A Jamaican Lane play DM. I can name you six, seven, eight, nine, ten forward players. Name me one who's very, very good playing CDM in the EPL. I'm not playing eight. I'm not talking ten. Playing the sixth position. We went to Grant for Christ's sake, which should be retired ten years ago, to be our CDM. We can't find one that we can pursue. We keep talking about the Lewis Bakers of the world who are playing championship. Name me one in the EPL. The question is, some people, it's like Jamaican runners who historically favor the one, two, and the four. We didn't run eight. We didn't run 15. We don't run 3,000. Now we start developing them, right? So is that a concentration thing or what it is? It does that mean Jamaicans can't run 1,500? Or I say black people can't run 1,500. But how come Africans can't run it and we can't run it at a, at a world class level? You guys should explain that. And stop drawing conclusion about intellect because I'd never talk about intellect when it comes to those things. See, 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 ball and the pony is screen now, cranky. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, Anthony Grant what came to us when he was much more seasoned, right? Much more seasoned and passed his prime. I mean, he played well for us, don't get me wrong, but he couldn't run. But if we got to go to Anthony Grant to be a CDM, we talk about football. We talk about Nelson, who's playing Premier League. We talk about Greenwood, who's played Premier League, right? We talk about Gray, who's played Premier League. We talk about Lowe, who played the Premier League, but is now in the Championship. We have so many wingers who play Premier League. Few center forwards. Sims played for Everton. Antonio played for West Ham. All these players who play up front. I mean, people like the Pinnock and the Maribel who play in behind. Name it as EPL CBMs of Jamaican heritage that we can go tap into. Name me them, since you guys are talking about race and intellect and all that. You name me them. I'm sitting here to listen. Don't give me South Americans, who do that all the time. So what does Kai say to South Americans? I said EP, and I basically said African, even though Kai said of African descent. Let's talk on Jamaican and Jamaican heritage. Please name them for me. Please name them for me. I'm, I'm going to wait and listen. 
for the experts out there to tell me who the CDMs are. I could name a ton of forwards. The 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 bent of the world before that, the rights of the world, the um what's it kid that play for Arsenal, right wing, um, Walker to the world. I can name a ton of people to make an heritage. Please tell me the CDMs that I can go back to and point out who have been great in the PL of Jamaican heritage. I'm listening. Since you guys are the experts and I'm not. <laughs> no, so pick it and narrow it down. I said Jamaican heritage. If you don't go African heritage, African is a continent with a billion people. Pagan, tell me this. Pagan, you're the expert. Tell me the CDMs of Jamaican heritage in the EPL who we can tap into. That's what we're trying to do. Go tell me them. And if they're not Pagan, tell me the rationale why. Because you guys who draw intellect, and I draw no intellect. I talk about Cal focus. Calvin I Phillips. I think should develop them. I talk about focus. I didn't talk about intellect. Go ahead, coach. They must say Calvin Phillips. Yes, Jamaican Heritage. He's doing well at West Ham right now, so yes. Calvin Phillips is one. That's a fair point. And Calvin Phillips did phenomenally well until he went to City. But here's a quote thing, coach. If you're struggling to name a lot, I'm going to put it out of your bag, and I can just name off the top of my head so many defenders and so many forwards, it asks the question, where are the CDMs? And why don't we see more of Jamaican heritage or Caribbean heritage, frankly, in the EPL? Who can play at a certain level? We don't see them. In fact, you may even expand that to be midfielders, period, versus just CDMs, frankly. But I'll stick a CDM because that's where the need is mostly. So anyway, we can move on from that topic, but you guys haven't disproved my point yet. See, see, Brian, come, 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 check you out there. What Brian said? Brian, Brian, come for you. What? Brian. Yo, coach, how are going? We're there. Yeah, cranky, big up. Night, night. Yes, Brian. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm not nah, going at CDM thing. <laughs> think, think point you guys running away from hot topics. Don't run away from no, hot man, topics. No, man, that point, that point, that point, no, but that point, I'm not thinking about it. Okay. I think that point, um, me, me, me think, um, me, me, I, I was kind of for the argument that is against what you are saying, but then, um, the moment we are struggling for name people, it, it kind of show the point, you know. In the moment, yeah. But not only Just like that, how you can call right. people off, off, off and who are at a right. high level, right. think when we are struggling for find them, then yeah, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Yeah, and I, I saw somebody put up something about NDD. I think NDD is a decent CDM, but not a. And NDD is somebody who just jump out at like it's a top class CDM, but he's, he's okay though. Yeah, but look how much top class forwards you can name, right? I don't talk about African. Let's talk about Caribbean. And um, if you go back historically. Yeah, but not even just forwards, just attacking players, you know. Right, right. I mean, you have so many people of Jamaican descent who play in the, who just play football in EP, in Europe period. Even not even playing in England. Think about Edwards, for example, who probably play in Portugal. A lot of players who play up. The question is, do coaches just push them up front and don't? push them to play in the middle part. What's the story on that? That's the question. One should ask the question. It's not about player and the intellect. Football is not the most intellectual sport, frankly. Let's be frank on that. You don't need no genius to play no football. Football to me is mainly about repetition. Yes, at some point in football, you get to a point where decision-making, the quality of decision-making, the speed of decision-making is important, no matter what position you play. But I don't think it's, it's, a, it's a sport where, you know what, you need this... Um, the nature of the thought process to be such where you can't learn repetition because that's what most sports is about repetition. I I don't think that's a situation. I just think that sometimes people are pushed into into certain positions to play certain positions. Me, me, me not think I only repetition alone in a cranky. What is it? It take intellect to man. No, it does if... take intellect, but I don't think football is a sport. When you play certain sports, for example like American football at certain positions, even though that's stereotype in some respects. But I don't think every sport, I don't think most sports, whether it's tennis or football, you got to be a, you know, it's, to me it's about repetition most times. 
Some things that is that is is genetics, but some position is not. I don't think CDM is about genetics, frankly. I don't think this ten is about genetics, ten position. Maybe you want speedy wingers, but even then, you have wingers of every discipline, of every persuasion. Play well. I don't think any position in football is about is about intellect, frankly. I think mainly it's about repetition, um, and whether you have the something people have a native ability to do certain things. Anyway, Brian, you were saying, sorry. Yeah, man, so I'm going to finish off that point. But the point I want, um, um, the thing I really want to say to you as well, I think Coach probably read out the comments still, me I say, but I don't know still, me, me, me watch the team play and thing, I feel like say, playing better or playing good or playing great football or whatever is, is something we can ascribe to us at this point. I mean, even in the games, so we play against the top oppositions in the region, which is where you want to benchmark or, or, or measure yourself against. Um, I don't think in those, any of those games we can look and say, yo, we, we were the most dominant team. Um, or maybe, maybe, not, maybe in one of phases of the game, but by and large, in those games, yeah, I think, I think, I think it would be fair to say we improve defensively and sometimes um I'm not hundred percent know if we if we improve defensively or if the other teams were just not so efficient on the day. You know? So I mean I think but but I think at the end of the day you can't discount the fact that we get big results against big oppositions. Um some some results that a lot of people um never expected. But I don't think we reach a stage now where I I am comfortable to say that, yo, we have we are playing good football or whatever. I think, I think, I guess aspects of the team has improved, and I know it probably will come over time, you know, for the holistic um improvement. But I mean, when you go back and look at the game we played at Canada, and even the game we play against America, um, I think, I think on on on, on any other day. The results of those games would have been a, could have been a lot different and could have told a different story. I mean, so I don't, I don't know if I reach a point now where I say we are playing better or we are playing good football. I just think that there are certain um, phases of the game or areas of the game where we are improving. Um, and especially in terms of like players, I think over time, gradually, the players that we bring in are of a higher standard. But I mean, I see where it come, it come together and make a whole as yet, which, as you know, it probably will take a little bit more time. You get me? So, so Brian, Brian, think about it, Brian. Our last, so when last have we beaten Canada? Should have beaten the U.S. and beat Panama in a sequence of three consecutive games. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know when was the last time we beat Canada. I'd probably say 20 years ago. The quality of the opponent, 20 years ago. In terms of quality of the opponents, so in three games against, in the game against the US, we, we drew in 90 minutes, right? We lost in overtime. We beat Panama pretty easily, frankly. And yes, Canada was a very tough game. But we, at the same time, we did beat Canada in a two game series, right? Yes. So that's some of the more positive results we've had over a long time. I know. I'm not discounting that. I'm just saying I don't think it's a fair statement to say that we are playing good or well. I think we have gotten good results. But, but, so when you say we're playing good, if we're going to play three teams, the U.S. didn't score against us in 90 minutes. Panama mm -hmm. didn't score against us in 90 minutes. Yes, Canada was tough, but we did come back and beat them. Let me ask that, a question. That, that seems to suggest that we're making progress, right? Yes, I, but I said that, but I'm saying, let me ask you a question. Over the duration of 90 minutes during right. in the USA game that we drew, um, was there any point in that game where you felt that we were the more dominant team? No, so the word so I, maybe I, I'll reposition that word dominant, which is we were competitive because the US didn't look like scoring, frankly. We were competitively defending. Well, we were competitive because um, okay. we could have scored in that. You forgot yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You forgot that Cephas missed a sitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Best yeah, chance yeah. of the game. The best chance of the game, right? 
Yeah, I agree. Okay, okay. So this is like Arsenal going to Man City and decide to play low block football, hoping to get something in the counter. Cranky, no. Well on there. Cranky. Yes. When we were assessing um Michael Hector defensive play, didn't you say that he was playing very intelligently? Yes, I did. Say, no, 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 quick. Oh, coach. okay. So okay. back, 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 back. I'm not saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not going to watch him, you know. Hold on, hold on. Cranky, cranky, hold on. Before you say, you said it takes a lot of repetition. So obviously, you yes. put repetition at the forefront as a primary. Yes. And I and that's what I'm arguing. So why we have a lot of geniuses who are inventing things, playing football, and doing really well. Wait, wait. You just be a genius. You can just go play because, football. Because. Because. Cr repetition. Cranky, come on. Cranky, come on. Come on. Come on, Cranky. Repetition. Cranky, you see, you now use your intellect knowing that. What do you mean? Because if... All right, the scientist takes repetition. A repetition yes. the scientist use. Yes, of course it takes repetition. And studies. Yes. Yes. Everything in life takes repetition. Everything in life takes... You can't just know something without studying it, which some people are confused about in life. Which so is, if you, you, know, you take and study it, no, you have to learn from something, but there's something that you So, the intellect you use and study it cranky, so the football of them. I wrote a comment in the comment section, say, yeah. all right, Michael Hector might not be the quickest player, right? He might not be with other attributes like other players, but what he uses is guile and think the game. He see how best he can break up a player, move three steps ahead of the opponent, so him can head the ball away from the person after him read the play we are going to make. You have to learn how to do all of that for deal with multiple type of forward or attack coming to you. Plus, you have to know so when you break up that play, how you transition into attack. So, so it I'm a, has I'm a, to be I'm a, I'm a, I'm a intellect. About intellect, because I don't want to go that road. It's a very difficult, it's a, it's a toxic road to go down. There is no benefit of going down the road. What I'm saying is that um, if I look at Michael Lecter, for example, if you're Michael Lecter, you have to try to play what they would call smart. You know, the physical capability to play differently. You don't have the physical capability to go like a low will, say, you know what, I can just set that ball. Michael, no, he can get there. Low thinks he can get there. That doesn't mean that Lowe is not smart. Lowe is a very, very smart player. But he is, he's going to rely on his athletic ability a lot of time because he knows he can get there. Sometimes it's the, the bad decision, right? So I don't want to go on the intellect road. The point I'm trying to make with the CDM point is this. Why don't we have more CDM of Jamaican heritage playing in the EPL, for example? That's the point I'm trying to make. Because we don't It wasn't about, it wasn't about Pearson's intellect. I didn't talk about intellect when I talked about that. But, 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 but Cranky My point takes was about it... why are they more to play there versus playing defense or playing up front? In yeah. order to develop a player, the repetition that comes with it, it's, it, it has to be intellectually inclined because if he's not doing the things that he needs to be doing intellectually whatever repetition he might do if that not involved he not going to improve okay 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 all right i'm, I'm gonna stay away from it. I'm a, i know where to pivot i'm a pivot i'm a pivot, I'm a pivot. <laughs> and it's gonna get me anywhere because we can have a long discussion about this here's another question Cranky, let me tell you one story about you know so me, me, hey me, 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 a man asks what position you play for the field of cranky but i now i now leak a secret of oh, what happened in that play. position that you play <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to leave it to the coach when he come on to talk about that so i can talk about where i played so let me talk about it i wasn't that good but I'm, i played forward first <laughs> then I played CDM. Active. No, I played forward, then I played eight, then I played CDM. My last years of football, I played CDM for, for UNISOC, my football team. I should put on their hat, actually. I played CDM. But 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 then, to me, playing CDM, you have to sacrifice having fun. I don't think it was a fun position for me. All I did was basically tackle and start the play and trying to read every single play. That's, I love playing forward. I lose the ball. I say, go fight. Go, you go tackle and get it back to me. I think forward is the easiest position to play. You lose the ball and you just look at your defenders go fight for it. At least when I Forward play, is not the easiest position no, 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 to play, no, no, Cranky, no, no. because if goal coach, scoring is so difficult, it cannot be the easiest no, position no, no. to I'm play. I'm talking about, coach, I'm talking about effort on the field, meaning when I used to play forward, it wasn't like today where everybody played defense. 
Today, everybody has to play defense. I didn't play a ton of defense when I played forward. When I went to CDM, I had to play defense. But anyway, you're not talking about me because I'm not. A, I'm, I can't say I'm a good football. Remember, I said, uh, corner league thing cranky at that about you know, people. No, I, don't, I didn't play it. corner league. I played leagues in Brooklyn. Played Brooklyn league. I so, played so, Bronx so, so league. So, corner league, league that, man. No, corner a league. Corner league. A corner league cranky playing you know, people. You played with Freddie for my, played with my team. You played Freddie, a corner league footballer. That's what I try to tell you. Eh? But, but yeah. Freddie, no, no, Freddie, no, 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 no
You get yeah, you, you got Champions league, league, man. No, we don't know. Every league get promoted. <laughs> when you with JPL, you get promoted to a league in a JPL. When you're in the JPL, you don't get promoted to the league. What am I talking about? See? <laughs> you're just playing at the same league. You don't get promoted. <laughs> um no, but it's 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 all good. It's all good. It's all good, coach. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't referring to the intellect thing, you know, but people take it. You know, people stay why them so sensitive about certain subject. If I say certain association and play in a certain position. So I'm going to talk about intellect then for the Jamaican runners then. When we say, we never used to run 8 and 15 and 3 and 5 and 10. We know you're not intellecting and come up. What, what about that? No, because um, Chuck and Field, Chuck and Field are taking no, no word by intellect, cranky. We know that. No, you got to be strategic in terms of how you run, don't it? Yeah, so you just, you, you just you go be yourself for instruction. It does take in intellect, not instruction, nothing. You have, to, you have to assess during the race the people around you. Where they are, so you 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 do that before you do that before. No, but it, but the race may develop differently, so you have to pivot during the race. Some people now change their race pattern, our mm. style. But some people change their race pattern and style to fit the occasion. They, you know, you know, use the just say it's, it's one dimensional. You know, use no intellect in a running. I if you have got three runs, if you have got three runs, you know, say you got three runs. And don't exert a lot of energy. You save energy for final. You don't need no intellect. Well, if you run ten toes, you don't use no intellect. If you run huh? toes, you don't use no intellect. You're saying four. If you run three toes, now ten thousand. We're not talking about racing over quick like hundred meters. You know where I mean the speed. You know your farm. I I know how you, you you run right. We're not talking about that. No, we're talking about that race like a three thousand, where there's there's ups and lows throughout that whole race. Mm. The, the temperature, the environment, the atmosphere around you. How you're feeling. Yeah. I think in some races you need that. We know you nobody are complaining when we talk about me saying we don't run three thousand and fifteen hundred and no not complaining about intellect. But as soon as somebody said why when I see a certain persuasion, a certain positions when I start getting all excited about intellect. I'm not talking about intellect start. Probably yeah, because I know a truck show this. I football show. <laughs> <laughs> But I want to talk track too. I want to talk. <laughs> I'm a track aficionado. I may not be a track foot, but I, 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 and I was never a runner. I think when you are running, you run on something. And not, <laughs> run on, but anyway, it's another story. But <laughs> I enjoy my track and field a ton. Hey, cranky. The master will fit with something there. <clears throat> Try to get a game. No, with no, the, no, not playing coach. Not with, playing the, with the bloggers and 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 the and oh, the. Hey, coach, the last time I played ball on a coach, we couldn't walk for three weeks. I've had four knee surgeries from trying to play football, which was not a good thing. Um, so I stopped playing football. Stop. I have pump iron, so the muscle is not strong, man. No, but so we go to the gym the other day. We couldn't walk for about three weeks. Put on some weights. I mean, I push some weights my knee, and let's just say um, it wasn't a smart idea. But cranky, you know, say so if you tone it down and all that, man. No, in no. In terms no, yeah. of the 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 the, 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 the amount of weight, so you you know, I use your intellect, this man. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, lack. I lack it. I lack it. Yeah, I lack it. <laughs> no, me not gonna say you lack it. You weren't hey, using hey, coach, it. My tennis coach, me said we could walk. Hey, it was, me not go gym this week. Cause me couldn't walk. Couldn't walk. You push some iron. Yeah, go, you, know, you, know, you push the iron, you feel good and say yes. That come and then next day. You okay? And then the day after that, you can't bend your foot, man. You can't walk up the stairs. So, um, you have, to, you, have to, you have to at your age, you know. Remember, you're retiring you now, you know. So you have to take a time and and just do toning no, rather no, than bulk. Uh, that's not that's not that's not happening. That's not happening. No, no hypertrophy. You know, just try to you know, try to No, uh, forty-five, if forty-five, um, Olympic size bar alone, you have to use, man. You don't see, need see, man, or, or some 10 pounds, 20 pounds. See, see, I'm a man MP94 know about the league of Mr. Play. See? I mean, I know MP94, but see the man I know me I talk about. My name team. See there? We don't we don't say now have quality players. I see him. I see him. I see my 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 Carla League have top quality national ballers, national league ballers where could I go if you put that team there together, then could I go beat a Premier League team? That does say it on a Bush League. No, but Canada League and I never, never officially run league, and the auspices have some over, overarching governing body. It's a community thing. We just have people. It's a, it's a Brooklyn community ball game, man. 
No, and they, imp- saying, and they import some the baller. The league is registered with the state. Yeah, then you know, our league register, our league register with the FA. Bush. Your league register with the Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Those quit while they're not so far behind, man. <laughs> We're never Bush League. Quit, right? never never quit. Bush. You play a Bush League, man. You better have me, you know, because I'm not playing. Yes, somebody said, we can't ref the game. Last Blancos, we can't ref the game. Last Blancos, we can't ref the game. Oh, yeah. I'm criticized after the game. We can't criticize the players. Who can't play? Who can't control a ball? Who can't beat a man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't do that. We can't do that. Um, yeah. That, that's more up my speed nowadays. Can't play number ball. My Knicks won tonight, coach. 49 and 32. I was watching yeah. the game for a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the, yeah. The, or, or the playoff thing, look. We need to finish third so we can avoid the Sixers. Sixers don't need to finish, guys. Sixers, we finish sixth. They don't play with them probably beat me, So No, we're in third oh. position. Lee. Yeah. But anyway, we're here to talk football. So, what are your first thoughts, coach? Huh? Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. My first basketball game I'm watching up people. A cranky and neo camera go there, you know. Oh, yeah, in that's a, right. In a, in a the Brooklyn Nets. Stadium. Eh? Yeah, yeah, watch the Nets, watch the Nets. Yeah, man, watch the CMT when I'm at that, boy. Good look of, good look of vibes. Yeah, that time, I have no injuries. That time, for sure, for me. Football exploits are like they're off. Enough injuries. Broken <laughs> finger. One book list. And four knee surgery. Bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. But me, I enjoy it anyway. We wouldn't change anything. Most fun to play about on Sunday, man, on Saturday. Yeah. You were saying, coach, sorry. Oh. Um, Duclan said we could have carry on a, 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 a somebody if you talk about sports injuries. That'd be a so good do a thing. show and talk about sports injuries. Yeah, that'd be a good thing. But we have an expert here, Cranky, can I have a book list of injury? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know some coach? That's why I'm not trust doctors, you know. Yeah. When I was my second knee surgery. I know you always travel to the best doctors. And the first surgery I had, I didn't think the doctor did the best job, right? Because mm. remember, I used to feel my knee, on my left knee, and then on my right knee. You know, I was watching, I, I fell asleep halfway through the surgery. <clears throat> Meaning, I was watching them, I go to my knee, you know, and see move the fiber of them. Hey, you no, know, say your, 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 your um, cartilage are like some fiber things. See, I move the fiber. Yeah, man. Watch, I mean, I watch, I mean, actually, I watched the surgery and then I fell asleep. Like, have it. That shouldn't happen. That means my anesthesiologist didn't do the best job putting me to sleep. And when I finished the surgery, I didn't feel a change, actually. And then we couldn't walk for days. So the doctor never did a good job. So I'm never really trust doctors. To give mess up my little career, may have a lot there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Cranky, I find excuse people. I blame the doctor. <laughs> no, it was the doctor. It was the doctor. He did a poor... Because the other doctor who did the second surgery... Like, who, who, who did surgery on your knee? And by my expression, you know, them say that they want them all together in terms of how they think and operate. They don't want, they don't want to blame each other or, or denigrate each other or belittle each other. Yeah, it, something was wrong, actually. And my right knee has never been the same. Um, so I retired too early, even though I wasn't good, but I retired too early. But I, I enjoy not like playing football, man. Our, I used to play like black cricket. Yeah, man, I, I get yeah. Cricket TT. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, I do my my channel. Let me see if we can find some some pictures and things. Yeah, man. Play every little sport, you know. Every little thing. Sports of sports, sports is my favorite thing in life, you know. I look at that bowling, I look at that table tennis, I look at that cricket, I look at that football, everything. Yeah, batsman or a bowler. Both. Off spin, medium pace, and but third. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Brian Lara type of thing. No, we wouldn't go that far now, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you grow up play. I don't like no people grow up and play I play a video game. They grow up and play sports. I'll be in season. Yeah. I like no people now go outside. When I grew up, you used to go outside and play sports all the time. So I play everything. Yeah, man. You know what's a good topic that for for real. Um sports injury. Yeah, because yeah. sports injury, I wanna I think them were even even affect the athletes mentally for real, you know. 
and and people might see an athlete come back from injury and I say, yo, how them now play how them used to play? How them now run how them used to run? It is a fear of that injury occurring, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, are, that are the issue, you know. It depends on the nature of the injury, coach, because, it, you know, I remember um, if you ever have a pull, um, if you pull your, your muscle, right, your pull muscle, I spent that game in Queens once. I mean, like somebody, a gunshot, pow, and you feel the pain, you know. If you felt that, and think about your, your runner, you run 100 meters. That must be mental at some point. If you have pulled that muscle, and if you have a bad tear, that must be mental. Okay, if you run that fast at some point, you think, boy, it can't happen again. It's not a good feeling. Oh. Hey, Duklan, you would know what I'm talking about, Duklan. You're not an athlete, so I can have my delusion of grandeur because I've done a little bit. Don't worry about it, Duklan. Let me know what sports you have played, Duklan. But no, sports injuries may be a good, a good thing to discuss. We can find an um, orthopedist or something to come talk about it. No, ch MPEC says no chess. You know, MPEC, I played a little bit of chess, but I didn't like the game. It's like golf. Um, I didn't like, I didn't love chess at all. I played a little bit. So you, you graduate from draft to chess. I didn't love chess. And I bought, you know, when I was in public accounting, I bought some golf clubs in my coach. No money in my coach. Because mm -hmm. if you're doing public accounting, you want to meet a lot of clients and you want to take clients out and everybody play golf. And I bought these expensive clubs in the coach. And I went out on the golf range twice. I said, boy, this boring star. I walk all day if he to look a ball. Can't handle that. Can't handle that. <laughs> right. I still have the clubs there, man. I still have the clubs in the basement. But... <clears throat> I, I didn't play. I didn't play. I didn't, I didn't love golf. Actually. One of those sports I can't get my mind around. Or, I, know, I know a lot of people love it and they play all the time, but just hitting that little ball wasn't wasn't fun to me. If you play basketball or American football, those are much more fun sports um, to play because it, it's continuous action. Yeah, well. Yeah, but but yeah, you, sh you should find coach somebody who has... um. Um, some of that skill set and bring them on to talk about sports injuries. Yeah, man, we have we have Dr. Paul right, man. I'll link him. I I'm I'm teaching sports medicine at college, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man, doc, doc general. <clears throat> so so coach, are you going to those games? Um the Copa America coming up. So only a couple months away now. Yeah, no, so we are try we are try to deal with it though. I know AQ is going. Yeah, man, yeah. Because he sent me where he has his tickets, actually. That may I try it? May I see what can go on? Okay. I'll be too busy that time. So I may not be able to go. I'm, I'm too busy trying to get my channel off the ground. <laughs> that can never start. <laughs> it looks like it will never, never get off the ground. So we'll see if it happens or not. If it, if it don't get off the ground by next month, I'm do it. But no, but those I'm looking forward to those games actually. Hopefully, we can see um, a few new faces coming to supplement the ones we have. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Um, All right, I think we are going, we are going to show now, Cranky. Yeah, yeah, we see if something for tomorrow. Oh, you have another show tomorrow. All right. Yeah, man. I, I weekend triple treat, man. Oh, okay. 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 Let me say we can't get it. You, you give out the, throw out the one bag of feed in a one go. So <clears throat> I save some for tomorrow. That's always a good to save stuff for a rainy day. Mm -hmm. Your side um, I play tomorrow? I don't have a side coach. That's like talking about corner league. I have a team. Hey, cranky. What do you think about this? You think more of a side because you know, I just pick up side now. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, me not a side me have for two. You're right about that. Me not, me not, me not challenge that you know, cause I'm, I, I side me up. <laughs> Anyways, U20. You think that we are going to qualify based on the whole heap of happenings around this team? This team don't look like... I, I don't talk about it. First of all, the quota thing... Uh, yes, I, mean, I, know. I said I will not talk about the U20 until all citizens are allowed to participate with our quotas. So I don't talk about the U20. I don't follow the U20. I decided not to be in that arena. Leave it alone. 
that speed and these people do what they want to do because they're discriminating against people who are not born in Jamaica, which is against their constitution, against the Jamaican constitution. I'm sure against people, FIFA's um, principles and right and and whatever criteria that govern them. I'm sure it is. Um, so this thing that's right, speed sad. It does sad. This you know, has... say, may, I, may I watch uh, on a way to the baited bread for real you know, because I want to see a team drop before me start saying nothing. But all me know say them draw and this, them, them, them draw come through and I go just watch and see what I go, go on where that is concerned. You understand? Yeah, so I wish any team that plays for Jamaica in any discipline does well, but where you're discriminating against people, I can't. I'm against that, so I can't be a party to all of that. So, um, and it's unfortunate. MPEC, you saying there's a new board and quota? Until we see that MPEC, until we see that, until we see that abolishment, we know something there. Yeah, no, and they didn't say that. Oh, by the way, um, this is because we don't have. We can only bring players where we have resources. They didn't, they basically, Speed basically said they have what, seven positions? If, you, if you're going to go over seven, I think he says, you have to justify it. Um, and I'm like, why don't you justify every single position then? That doesn't make any sense. Why would a citizen who has gone through the process of obtaining your citizenship, whether by birth or through the naturalization process, why would they be precluded from having the same rights and privileges as everybody else? It's crazy, crazy. And it's not like oh. the people who are involved have been disenfranchised, as you see in the US. That's why they had some of this in the US, which is now being abolished actively. So why would that even be allowed? It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I don't talk about the under 20 big or anything under the senior team, I don't talk about. And the senior team goes quota, I don't follow the senior team either. So now it'll just be one less people because they don't really care who follow them team anyway. Mm. Yeah, 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 man. But all right, Drago Boogie. Right. Hopefully we'll be back here tomorrow. Big up the people them. Uh we we'll show up. Chat room. Big up on yourself, you know. Just drop a like if you have not done so. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. So that you can become a part of the thing. You understand? Big up everybody. Big up all the supporters. All who come out. All who like, share, and subscribe. Big up on yourself. Appreciate it. Big up to Cranky. Uh, make sure, say, you know, when Cranky channel kick in, you know, people, we'll go over there, go. Go run it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may be um, getting more grief than I... I may not be getting any grief yet. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to, to having discourse with the people. Um, so let's hope people jump up and join. I miss I miss probably said that before I start coach. So maybe a week or two before I start. So I guess mm. some 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 um some people can subscribe before I even start. So hopefully that happens. You have to drop at least one video, man. I have to drop at least one video? Yeah, man. So maybe I record so. I record a 15 minute video like we see other people are doing. <laughs> 15 minute video. Yeah, yeah making people in so I'll go on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Do that. Do that. I'll do that, coach. All right. All right. All bless right. up. Yeah, man. Bless. <laughs> Do clan say, I hope God not come before the channel start. <laughs> you know, I was going to make a comment, but I know a lot of you are religious in Jamaica, so I won't. But if not, we have to be coming. I'll wait a long time. <laughs> and, uh, I think that's a human being concept. But anyway, we won't go into that. That's for another, that's for Cranky and Censor. There's another channel I'll drop at some point. Subscribe to my sports channel. We can talk about enough things in our life people so my advertise for coach is this you're talking about yeah, what about, about the markets investments relationships politics no no so we can we know someone who's in a sports i don't know why you're not knows about sports so we all leave them thing that to other places but yeah not just sports more on top of on top of life in general all right, all right. we are out yeah, yeah ma'am your style and your flavor make the city rock they must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzi, best round here. Remember that.